Good morning. Well, I should say good afternoon. We're here for uh, a bit of lunch, and I'm here with my mate Trev. How are you, Dallas? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. So you are the new manager for what was formerly known as the Walloon yeah, Saloon. Absolutely. That's correct. So it's now the Walloon Hotel. Yes, we renamed it. Yeah. The Saloon Hotel. And you've got a full complement of meals. And... We have, yes, we have um, Monday through Friday, we have $5, four ninety five lunches, five days a week then. T-Bone Tuesdays, $15, and they are excellent. We can't keep it up with people at the moment. Booking's essential. Wow. So if you were staying overnight in Ipswich and we're going to do uh, or follow me on one of our episodes, um, we could ride through here. You're definitely stop in here for lunch. Oh, for sure. So I'm yeah. going to try the bangers and mash today. You won't be disappointed. I hear it's pretty good. It I is, hear it's pretty good. It is good. That's what I'm having today too. So do you know how long the pub has been here? It got moved here in 1877, we understand, and we don't really know what it was before that, but some people say it was a nursing home. Right. It was a I think. Okay. Yeah. So, I tell you what, if you want to know more about this kind of thing, jump onto a Facebook page called Lost in Switch. It's run by a good mate of mine, Jacko, uh, and you'll, you're bound to find out a whole bunch more information uh, about this particular pub and a whole lot of other things that we do. We are actually on the Cobb Co tourist, tourist Drive. So um, the circle, or the two hour circle, is very much about promoting motorcycle tourism in Ipswich, in Ipswich yeah. using Ipswich yep. as a launch pad. We're gonna be a bit cheeky today. Uh, after we've had a bite to eat, we're going to go from suburb to suburb um, along to the Warrego Highway. Okay. So, with three simple questions, and I reckon you might be able to help me out a couple with a couple of answers off camera. The suburb question number one is uh, why is it there? What's it famous for? And can we get a bite to eat? How do you reckon we'll go? You will go well. I reckon. <laughs> yeah, <you laughs> we should be. We should be pretty good. Yeah, right. yes. Mate, we're going to go in and grab the bite to eat. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Thank today, you, Dallas. And we'll talk to you again soon. We'll see you inside. Thank you. Enjoy. See you soon. It's absolutely fabulous, Dallas. Thanks for the invite. No worries at all, no worries at all. Um, the two hour circle and pterodactyl helicopters, we kind of, our projects kind of run parallel to each other. Absolutely, basically, different forms of transportation doing the same kind of thing. We do it a lot faster than you, eh? Well, yeah, I can probably I can probably get a bit of a head start, but you'll catch me. <laughs> you'll catch me, you'll catch me. Hey, doesn't this look good? Yeah, they do nice meals here. This is one of the pubs that we have in our pub tour. Yep. So coming here is something we do quite regularly. And uh, of course we only take people to places that can put out decent service and the quality of the food is, uh, is up there with the best. And we are determined to, on the two hour circle, we're going to uncover them all. And we might even find a few places that you don't know about. Well, mate, if you can, tell me. If we can land there, we'll do it. Yeah, well, I, good luck getting your helicopter in my backyard. I'll do a pretty good bang in the <laughs> Yeah, we could land there once. <laughs> and then the dog's going to eat now. Well, that's right. It becomes, it becomes a static as well. So we're at Wooloo we'll today. We're going to we're going to leave the helicopter behind today, um, but we're going to go from Wooloo we'll to the Warrigo. So tell me what I might find between the Wooloo we'll Hotel and the Warrigo Highway. Well, you pass through one really cool local country town. Yep, Rosewood. You'd think Rose was just a little dot on the map, but they've got this brilliant Cobb & Co um, display in there. It yep. looks great in the evening when it's all lit up. There's some cafes and, and the two pubs that are really well worth visiting. Yep. Uh, we don't visit Rose at not too many places across the land, but certainly it's something we can point out on the way. Just past Rosewood is the um, oldest bridge in Queensland, and you can see the abutments from the air, a bit hard to find it from the road, right. and then that leads out to Grand Chester in there. A nice pub in Grantchester and then on Spices Hidden Bar, one of the um, jewels in the Spices Crown, and we visit there. On the, they have great accommodation, great food, and um, and by the end of this year, their restaurant will be uh, pretty well. We are up and running yep. again, a bit of a sad news for the past there. So, um, what we are aiming to do is have people come and stay in Ipswich for three or four nights. Um, and experience what's on offer. And we're just giving you a little bit of a taste of it today. Um, what you can do, like the food. Like the food, yes, yeah. absolutely. What you can do certainly takes it to the next level. Mike and I are going to work on a project together later on. 
Uh, we're still putting our heads together, finding out the details, but I have visions of you chasing me down the highway at some point. You'd love chasing me down. We're going to get stuck into this, we're at the Walloon Pub. We're going to uh, go from Walloon to the Warrego today. We're going to enjoy this. See you soon. Hotel and the bangers and mash were absolutely fantastic. But we've stopped here at this beautiful church. We are at St. Bridget Catholic Church. It really did catch my eye. And there's a historical connection between the church and the rising sun across the road, which is a beautiful old hotel. Apparently, before this was built, patrons would go to church at the local pub. So, with just a nine minute ride from Walloon to here, well worth checking out. Now, can I get a bite to eat? Absolutely, you've got Harry's Place, which is a beaut little cafe. Uh, there's a beaut little tea house around the corner from where we are at the moment. We're gonna skip off to the next suburb and uh, continue our little treasure hunt. I'll see you on the road. So we've just ducked off the road, off the highway, slight detour into Grandchester. Now, episode four. If you want more information on Grandchester, I'm a little bit thirsty. The guys are a little bit thirsty. We're gonna grab a quick drink and then we can jump on the back, back onto the road and continue our little treasure hunt. Talk to you soon. Hey, so we have left Grandchester, obviously, and just like nine minutes up the road, we're here at beautiful downtown Maley. Now, probably a little bit late in the afternoon, grab a cup of coffee, unfortunately, but there'll be plenty of opportunities once we get out to Warrego. You might be interested to know that one of the things that Maley is most famous for is its beetroot production. We are sort of just entering the feed bowl now as you get out along the Warrego Highway and, and discover what is available just a short ride from Ipswich. See you in the next suburb. treasure hunt I suppose. Um, please forgive me I've been saying suburb all the way through. I don't know why I did that. Um, all these little towns are absolutely worth stopping by um, from. We're not a long way from home but we've had a really good day. So we're going to wrap it up with a cup of coffee. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, we'll see you out in the circle somewhere. Bye for now.